Hello, hello, this is Three Things You Need to Know, and today's three things we're gonna learn about is equity. I'm Shelly Zavitz, licensed realtor with Dwell Realty, and this is Tammy Wittren with Guild Mortgage. Good morning. Good morning, and we are in Portland, Oregon. Uh, so first point about equity, what is it? Equity, it, so you decide to purchase a house. And when you buy a house, you're able to put less than 20% down. Equity is the difference from what you acquire the home at, that sales price, to where the market appreciates to. Okay, so if I were to buy a house at 400000 Perfect. Explain equity after that, after I buy the Perfect. house. Perfect. So you do nothing to the house, but keep it up, live in it, correct? Yes. All right. Hopefully. So equity, and you could do other things. You could paint, improve it, remodel the kitchen, blah, blah, blah. But let's say you just live in it um, and keep it up. So you buy it at 400000 Your market in, in wherever you live in Portland, Oregon, is appreciating at 4%. In one year, you have gained $16,000 by doing nothing. That is appreciation. That 16000 now becomes equity. I see. Okay, so point number two then is if I have equity in my house, what do I, what, like, what is it? Like, how do I use it to build more wealth? Perfect. So, the cornerstone of every financial picture to retire in America is home. Okay. When you retire in America, if your home is paid off, you're able to retire. So, equity then becomes this amazing vehicle that you're not actively participating in to build wealth so that your home is paid off. So equity happens when the mortgage balance of the home gets paid off or the market appreciates and what it's valued at and what you owe that difference is called equity. And that is the cornerstone of financial wealth. Okay, so if I buy a house and it's appreciating and I am slowly like paying off the mortgage, that mm -hmm. space in between is where the egg is, right? That's the equity egg. That's the that thing that it. I could retire on in the future. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yep. So Shelly, there is this little thing called leverage that I just love. I do not know of many other investments that we lay people um, are able to participate in. Leverage is when the investment you buy into for a very small amount, for example, um, when you buy a home, when you close on a home, you take ownership. That asset is then yours. Say you put 5% down and you paid closing costs and prepaids at $400,000. you are you're into that purchase about $30,000, okay? Okay. That is called leverage. Leverage is acquiring an asset that is valued much higher than the money you're putting into it. Leverage is how you acquire wealth. For example, your $30,000 in the bank today appreciates or builds value at about $600 a year at 2%. Wow. Okay. But this $400,000 home can build equity in our Portland market very conservatively at, say, 4% which is $16,000. So, you so leverage, leverage is a really powerful tool. Oh my gosh. Sure. And it gives the That's average it. person like you and I the ability to start to save in a massive way for our future. It is the only way you can retire in America, in my opinion, mm -hmm. with housing prices going up, cost of living going up. So this $400,000 investment that is appreciating at 4% per year in five years, Shelly, you could gain about $86,000. So it's that 4% at 16,000 plus the 400 in the next year, it's 416 plus 4%, right? So it's compounding appreciation. Right. So all of a sudden, Shelly, because you leveraged this asset, you now have it appreciating at the higher amount. And that's how we really start to build wealth. And that's why real estate is a cornerstone of your financial future. Right. So I can see this if if you are a first-time home buyer or you are new to a market and you're just trying to get into it. 
just to take your 5%, that $30,000, get it into the market. Start, and the sooner you do it, the better it will be because you started that five-year clock. Leverage and appreciation is the key to real estate. It's really the fundamental. The truth is we all have to call somewhere home, right? We have right. to live somewhere. You're either going to pay someone else and help them build equity and leverage through leverage, or you help yourself and build one of the cornerstones for your financial future. Awesome. Okay, so point number three. Here we've learned what equity is. We've learned what leverage is. Now, how can we apply it? So Shelly, in the home um, example that we're using right now, you can get at your equity. There is a vehicle called a home equity line of credit. It is a mortgage that is placed behind your first mortgage. That's one way. Um, you access that. You can pull that money out for, say, college for your kids, home improvement, to buy another house. Or you simply sell the house you're in and move up and buy the next one. That's awesome. So equity, in my opinion, provides options. And the sooner that you can start building it, the better. Would you agree, Tammy? It is the key to your financial future, people. It's the cornerstone to building wealth and retiring in America. So awesome. If you have any questions about equity or how we can help you, just give us, give us a shout, either Tammy or I. Um, thank you for coming again. And I'll see you next week for our next topic. Thanks, guys. See you. All right. Take care.